Welcome to a video from LegisLifestyle.com. In this video, I'm going to have a quick look at what's new in the Windows 10 20 H1 update. Um, at the time of recording, which is the 22nd of February, we don't have a huge amount of details of actually what's new. So what I'll do is I'll do this video now and then I'll update it as we get more information as we get closer to the release date. So uh, 21 H1 stands stands for the first half of 2021 um, which is when the update will release so maybe April time March April time something like that uh, that's when the um, update will come out now unlike was last year this time it's coming through as a service update and um, which means it's like the monthly update so it's going to be a minor update that comes down and it's quick to install rather than the full image download Currently this build is available to Windows Insiders on the beta channel uh, as an optional update through, uh, through the Windows Update program and I've installed it here on my uh, virtual machine so you can see here that it's got the version 21H1 and uh, it, like I said I've just installed that as an optional update. Now at the moment we're not seeing any new features as such but Microsoft can kind of switch those on and off as they as they want through the servicing update so just because we're not getting those now doesn't mean we won't get them later but what Microsoft says is that version 20 H1 is a scoped set of features uh, improving security remote access and quality rather than uh, a major update I think we will see some bigger updates to Windows 10 later in the year but at this time we're not going to see a huge amount so what actually was new in the recent build well the uh, Windows Hello multi-camera now um, and now enables you to have an external camera for Windows Hello. Uh, there's a Windows Defend application guard performance improvement and WMI, that's the Windows Management Instrument Instrumentations, uh, has been improved for home or remove uh, has been improved for remote working scenarios. So in other words, not many changes with so we're not got any new features. I can't show you anything on here. So I can't show you any new features or anything like that, there's no UI changes to show you um, but that doesn't mean to say there won't be any, so the Microsoft could introduce them at any point. The news and interest feature on the dev channel uh, could be switched on there, I've got that on some other videos that you can see on our YouTube channel on LegislifeStyle.com but uh, that they could switch that on to here which is a little news and interest button down here which shows you some information but that's not there at the moment so we don't know when that will arrive or not but it looks like Microsoft making this a minor update um, under the hood fixes to improve remote working and other minor changes and then we'll see bigger changes later in the year so like I said I'll update this video and do another one when we get some more features but that's it for now thanks for watching this video